on July 18, 2022, between 0200 and 0400 hours in the morning, therefore today, early in the morning hours, I was uh, assaulted by what I deem to be a grandson of police director from Novo Mesto. Now I'm going to explain to you what exactly I mean by assaulted. Uh, yeah, it's true that the guy was just reaching out and was trying to punch my telephone from my hands. Uh, however, there is completely another background behind all this. He gave at age 14 and then age 16 what appeared was at in 2015 and 2017 a very mixed response to me now a response more or less suggested that he was not interested in in this kind of stuff in fact he was so young at age 14 that he had to cross to when brought to location repeatedly i was brought to location of the first police director of Novo Mesto police for torture which to what he referred to as a test for him to see how much do i remember and foremost how much psychologically can i even cope uh, is it even possible that I could bring this to the end, uh, reveal all the circumstances behind the crime? This police director was the one who caused a lot of harm not only to me but also to others. He is the one who started with the beatings in front of the memorials dedicated to partisans in 95, 96, 97, 98. 99 2000 however i have to say there was another individual too um, he interacted with other people too in the presence of what became uh it's what he used was janis ogulin now a director of novo mesto police and antono Lai. Anton Olai was retired now, director of Novo Mesto Police, and then instead of being fired after committing a very serious crime, basically, resolving circumstances of a car crash which involved a pregnant lady uh, that benefited his colleague who was involved in a torture that same earlier day uh, he was promoted into earlier on today uh, earlier on in that same day uh, that he had a car crash his friend here from Novo Mesto uh, uniformed police officer uh, He was engaging in torture and it was not about that day it was entire week it was two weeks of torture that went on physical torture went on a party and had a crash with and crashed into a lady a pregnant lady claiming there was no responsibility of his took no responsibility for the crash uh, and the crash happened due to his poor response he did not even go to sleep anything like this but went on a party instead and proceeded to drive around maybe even on the drug of uh, DUI maybe even drunk who knows so uh, rather than to do what every police director should do uh, he sided with him so for that matter rather than being fired he was suspended for some time 
uh, and awarded afterwards as a police Slovenian police director oh police director of Slovenian police I know this is insane but this is what this is whenever brought to this location yeah because I remember him saying granddaddy and he came with idea to remind me of his granddaddy basically he came with idea to remind me of MK ultra brainwash how I would want how I should see myself in this stuff how I should interpret it No, uh, supposedly a grandson from an Avomesto police director. Uh, who just, in my opinion, just uh, wanted to buy a little bit time to himself. And also who I'm going to charge with assault. Let me explain. A physician, a very young physician whom I have met. But once I started to visit my father and was giving out a COVID tests at Candia in a container went to went on to study to Ljubljana cardiovascular diseases and have specialized herself in becoming cardiovascular surgeon because according to her this is what I am going to need is next uh, let me say like this that whatever police is doing to cause severe sleep deprivation and have done have caused severe sleep deprivation that is clearly having an outcome uh, on my cardiovascular system whatever they are doing not only is being very successful but in respect to this individual who assaulted me yesterday he tried to punch the telephone from my hands he alone stated me that once aggressive situation like this develops he had a time rate he told me I don't know how many hours you're gonna need for your cells to come down before you're gonna be able to go sleep so this young man yesterday committed serious assault a serious crime which involves his grandfather as a first director of police he first he also further under MK Ultra threatened me that threatened me on how to view the things is so I'm gonna charge this man with the assault actually I'm charging you with assault he used Joe Biden he used British Royals to pull the trick something exciting that would take place he committed assault at the place which definitely was always his video recorded and I know this stuff was transmitted to London I'm going to say that during MK Ultra, I was referred to as unknown soldier. They referred to me as paying respect to the unknown soldier. I'm not unknown soldier. I have just chosen United States of America to be my homeland, new homeland. And instead was brought into enemy's hands. and swiftly stepped from behind repeatedly 
on behalf of Buckingham Palace, on behalf of British, which they actually prided themselves. Prince Charles and Prince Andrew prided themselves on their abilities to fuck individual in a such a way, in a such a manner, so that he would assume they are friends, when in reality they basically slit your throat. I'm not unknown slow soldier because I know who I am. I know where I went. I know exactly what Joe Biden did in respect to physicians, in respect to diseases, how they play with it. I know about Ken Berry, a physician, a doctor, who insisted me before he got his degree, diploma, doctoratum, so that he could start to practice on his own. I know, I remember, he was involved in Poland. This was one of the first MK Ultra staff members, Dr. Ken Berry. I already have posted about him uh, on my new site. I'm going to put the link right below. When he claimed me that he's just trying to learn and be my witness about the stuff they were engaging in here in Slovenia, how they were, he observed how they were experimenting on me, Dr. Neighbor Igor Kotar, how he played with infectious problems in my body so that he could systematically develop what is known, obviously, what to him, the what he would want as an outcome really was a cardiovascular heart failure. Already started with this shit in 1995 on a day one of MK Ultra, and he went on for no less than 26 years. So an individual who did this stuff Yesterday, I am going to charge one. I'm charging you with an assault, with a serious assault. It's not going to be like this. This individual is young, however. You see what they're doing. You see, you see what this is. No. You see what this kind of stuff, you see what kind of game this is. This individual, when young, when I was brought... To 2014, however, a grandson of the police director, of the novel Mr. Police Director, did not even know how to torture, what to do, when his grandfather ordered him to just torture me, start to, start to push with the beatings and stuff like this, challenge me. So he ran next door to the neighbors and that was this older uh, neighbor a few years older neighbor uh, it was like a, it's like a it's got like a little channels that are dividing the property where the uh, house and uh, little channels uh, like a drain channels uh, that are around and so he had to step over to get to the neighbor and bring the neighbors and so on and so forth So they older so they demonstrated to him how this stuff is done Watch what I can actually interpret that this police director at his old age Not only have done this stuff to me, but also to other people and appears to me continues his activities which were interpreted to me by him that he had to do this for Milan Kuchan and stuff like this. It wasn't about 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and then 2000, 2001 is when he disappeared from the picture when he retired. He would bring me straight up to Tershkagora, to the Church of Mary Saint Nativity, where he would do this torture as well. And when he retired, he brought me there too to update me about that kind of stuff. He enjoyed in causing people psychological harm, urgencies. He really is sadist. 
and they have some kind of weekend not too far from there um, the relatives or something like this his uh, daughter was a blonde lady a good-looking nice lady I was very much interested in uh, she instead went on with somebody else who appeared to me was a very nice guy however because of the grandfather because of circumstances at home because of this ex-director of Nova Mesto Police I think he took off to another lady So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you to the Church of Saint Nativity of Mary Saint's Nativity so that you will see where exactly this attack took place they video recorded this stuff police did police video recorded this stuff and it was a repetition of MK Ultra uh whatever it was given to these people authorized by the london by the britons by americans by joe biden uh, they were free to take advantage of it in other words they took care they covered their ass for whatever that was to come out his uh, son-in-law then moved i think into area of uh, here maybe further from Brezice, but but in this in this area I don't know maybe I, I had a feeling like like that he he literally landed here somewhere in this area here on a Steirska side you know otherwise these people are located uh, as you are about to hear a little further from Chantierne. Oh, let's find Chantierne. <laughs> Interesting that a second phone that my mother has is ringing to her now. But they are located a little further from Chantierne. I have no idea. Uh, I didn't go and I'm not interested in knowing where exactly that would be. You can see here the Nova Mesta city. This is pretty much where this took place. He drove at 0 to 20 hours in the morning right here to, to this place here where I was doing the exercise. And once I was done with the exercise, he appeared, he rapidly drove to me. Uh, and it was really kind of weird but um, yeah I would say that I would say that What, what is the need of this? You know, shit happens here all the time. You know, it's not mother's personal phone. She's using two phones. It was a home phone I apologize but why to break the door over there uh, why not to knock once 
and see if person is going to respond uh, that I do not know <laughs> that's some kind of a const and some kind of uh, stuff like this that goes on basically uh, if you watched some of the links I have posted to different physicians they add that the biggest killer that destroys the immune system is sugar but the second biggest one as big as sugar is stress why do they do this kind of stuff is not really uh, basically constantly keep you under the tension like I said I am not I'm not unknown soldier because I didn't go to unknown I know who is behind and how and I want also world to know if we go back this is really disturbing but if I go back here to uh, it's actually better uh, I don't know what the fuck was funny about my mother was all happy like uh, she got the lottery or something like that nice uh, they are here as a family they write from here from the city of the Novo Mesto uh, actually here from Chantierne I'm here at Novo Mesto and I think his son in law uh, I think that he's separated from his uh, wife or maybe he's got a family here I have no idea but I remember that I would be driven to this area here uh, probably here a uh, Kershko Brezice but on this side here on toward uh, you know there is a separation line here so I'm gonna say just here somehow like this toward this area here no. Uh, I had a feeling like uh, not exactly salt, I wouldn't say that, but Kershko Bresh it's about on on the side which is separated by the Sava River uh, and it separates the region of Dolenska and Stajerska, basically uh, eastern part of Slovenia, toward eastern part of Slovenia. It just separates, the line separates the two regions right there. So that's basically the stuff that I can remember. It appears to me that this grandson grew up with his grandfather and they wanted to give me a reminder police claimed me that they wanted to know precisely what my take on this guy would be uh, that if I would not get involved against one uh, that things would resolve really 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 easily now these are the major supporters of Milan Kuochan this grandson whom I have met yesterday through this attack on me uh, claimed me under MK Ultra if no Milan Kuchan, if no Borut Pahor, then no help to me. And this is how he saw this as a help, basically. I don't think that I need any of this kind of help. I am going to only tell to the police, just as I have told to the nurse yesterday you're gonna get all the explanations when I come to pick you up with police officers whomever uh, so that you're gonna get handcuffed behind your bags uh, and taken out of your facilities homes whatever the nature of this problem will be I don't owe you, however, any explanation about absolutely anything. I don't owe you any answers. You will, you will know 
we come to pick you up, you will understand. You will know everything. You will deal from there on. But about my views on how, who, how, and this and that, you have no right. This is not your matter. Uh, Milan Kuchan, Zoran Jankovic, who were involved in this crime, Borut Pahor, Tanya Fayon, this is just not my option. This is whom I do not represent. And I seriously have a problem with the police personnel, with the police cadre, with the police, uh, the way the police is ran. Uh, yesterday I met an indiv interesting individual and basically uh, realized, because he's from Bela Krajina, where Bojanci are, that's like a Serbian settlement on Slovenian side, I came to realize that uh, the people are completely surreal. They, they, Slovenian people appears to me they're totally uh, confused on, on absolutely everything. You know, on life, they they are they are like I'm not gonna say anything. I don't want to insult anybody, but really, there were a lot of settlements, Croatian settlements in Vojvodina and in Serbia, and clearly, a Serbian Chetnik Vojislav Šešel publicly incited in hatred against them he publicly incited in wiping them out destroying them annihilating them ensuring that in serbia there would be no croats and so on today if you look the statistics croatian minority practically does not exist but in slovenia which doesn't even have a border serbian minority basically exploded so i close to having issues with such police, with, with people like this, don't know much about this nation alone, what this nation is about. Um, I don't want to use bad language or something like this. In London, they regarded them as a chicken shit, basically. As a chicken shit because of attitude they displayed in front of Serbs when they would literally they would litter in their pants piss in their pants in front of them when they would appear at Church of Saints Nativity they actually placed a sculpture of Obrenovic which they called facial sculpture of Obrenovic uh, somewhat uh, similar facial to let's say King Karadjordjevic, who is still hiding in London, uh, Serbian King Karadjordjevic, something in that sense, so that they could cater, they could, they could, they could satisfy, you know, their um, their views on us as. Uh, not discriminatory it was not enough they were doing beating on me it was not enough that uh, they humiliated over there they were so um, eager to please they were so yeah I'm gonna stop here I don't want to go into a word a choice of words too big too large um, basically so much eager to deny themselves in front of the Serbs uh, that is just really incredible about how far they have gone to make them feel that Slovenia in fact is their home. What can I tell you? The family is very known to me. This police director uh i could describe one but what what is to describe i mean this was this was this is just a blue-eyed i 
light skinned, but he spends a lot of time on the sun. With his hair in the back. Probably, I don't know. Maybe he was even... I, none of my business. This is all there is in respect to uh, this case here. So this was, this was more about than just punching me. Uh, attempt to punch the telephone out of my hands. Uh, pressuring me on how... That's how he pressured. He pressured on how he's going to call the police. And that I am not allowed to leave. He physically approached me and tried to, he exercised the police arrest, basically. He disallowed me to leave, to go my way, close my path, close position himself in front of the car, uh, where I was trying to take a picture afterwards from his license tag number basically um, to a degree that I called police on my own I doubt the police he then during MK Ultra police appeared I eventually had to demonstrate a gallery that I did not video record one but a kid learned about the law in respect to audio recordings and stuff like this. Also, he's going to learn a little bit more about the law today because I'm going to transmit you this audio recording. He wanted to get a guarantee that it was between a recording and between the gallery. And he did not specify that he just wanted to know that I did not video record one. However, once he learned that I... am not willing to commit myself to give him a statement in respect to audio recording. Uh, he was left without nothing. A police under MK Ultra, they repeated this stuff. Police arrived and they wanted to, from me, they gave me some kind of phone and they told me right at this location, to demonstrate them so they can see this and nothing, nothing to worry about and this and that. Then they orchestrated something else here, which they interpreted me that this is just going to be seen as nothing unusual. Uh, therefore, on my way back home, for anxiety purposes or something like this. And I must say, I have seen them doing this stuff before, which is okay, but this here, this is actually where a police patrol vehicle appeared once I was heading home. I wouldn't say unusual because I can say, I can confirm that I have seen one already appearing. However, what's interesting to me, this police vehicle turned that way. And uh, once I proceeded this way, just as I was promised the case is going to be, there was another police vehicle that appeared. Uh, I have to tell you that police vehicles uh, are doing a rather nonsense in my eyes uh, than enforcing their duties. I am, I am not seeing, I have not seen uh, as far as driving I can tell you that I witness constantly very unusual situations on the road 
uh, let's say yesterday when I was returning from my father, there was a Volkswagen Golf that speeded, red one, with several young people inside that appeared almost would steer out of the, well, I guess, wanted to make impression on me, I don't know, but if the vehicle would crash, uh, smash into the sidewalk, something like this, incidentally, uh, the show off, well, could be a dangerous stunt that probably would result in some fatalities. And this here, this is where it was the second police vehicle parked, but what I was told on that MK Ultra by the police officers, obviously both patrol vehicles were involved in MK Ultra. obviously that they are doing some kind of stuff that shouldn't be on their pay list, that this is also a regular post where they stop in morning hours. Now the truth is that due to my returning in early hours, I estimate uh, around like, I don't know, uh, maybe 4.30 or something like this. I don't know what the time was. Uh, that can be also calculated because in the end of every audio recording, that's basically what I do is I also post my own timestamp, a date and time, that kind of stuff I do. Uh, that I could not prove anything unusual for any of this vehicle. Well, I think I just did prove that this is not a normal stuff. Uh, what special I didn't like is when I returned from Poland, uh, the way the cars have driven past me and they still continue to drive past me. Uh, I did explain that on the other side of the Kirka River, where I am from, it's extremely uh, driving designed literally by the police and the rules, the set of rules they designed uh, to literally uh, terrorize uh, at times uh, involving vehicle that would not mind their side of the road, but would uh, rather uh, come very close, uh, they would not reduce the speed, uh, jeopardize basically my own safety uh, due to... It appears to me psychiatric terror which they continue to exercise. I don't believe, you see, that this is just... Uh, I think that this is just a part of what I told you earlier is basically to keep tensions going, uh, to keep the tensions flaring. So when you see uh, cars heading from the opposite side of the road uh, with speed, they do not adjust, especially on this location even here. Uh, that again was a situation yesterday when the car really almost hit me here, came. Okay. Uh, but it wasn't that narrow uh, bridge. It wasn't that I made past, let's see this thing here. On my way back, I was on my way to father, but on my way back, it wasn't that uh, or it was a day before yesterday, uh, that a vehicle approached me from behind uh, and passed as much as I was right here uh, on a bank walking next to me as if, you know, fuck, was trying again to prove me something with the, again, with the velocity of I don't know how many kilometers per hour it should be restricted to 50 kilometers an hour you know uh, but people drive here 80 uh, and also 100 kilometers per hour uh, and it appears to me they get some kind of energy especially uh, when 
I don't know, they see me or something like this. There is no sign posted anywhere that would demonstrate a reminder of the speed. Uh, and ahead of the village settlement, where actually the speed should be reduced to 30 kilometers due to narrow houses, housing also, uh, the speed, as you see right there, now is posted as 40 kilometers an hour. So this is like uh, no longer enforced as it used to be. This used to be not only enforced uh, during the times of Yugoslavia by the police that would frequently post themselves right here. Uh, but it was also enforced during the MK Ultra times. They would have a police vehicles stationed, uh, and here and there they would write somebody some ticket for speeding and something like this. So it was also saved as a stress factor uh, by the psychiatrist recommended the way of doing it, even that is jeopardizing basically a safety. I, and I told you about the bus once uh, for what I was told to do not use a headphones because if you're going to use the headphones uh, you're not going to see the car uh, in this case it was a bus that smashed me almost as I walked on completely my side of their own minding my own business uh, that wanted also driver for me to identify him and stuff like this involved in MK Ultra. Uh, for what fucking cost is this? As I said, this is not going to be uh, about the unknown soldier. This is about known people like Joe Biden uh, and other politicians that are just doing something that uh, benefits their views. Actually, benefits their views on me since 1995. I don't think that denying health services the right to health services to someone uh, while paying him for those uh, is actually the way to go. You know, this is just uh, something else they're trying to portray here, uh, here, not exactly the reality on how things are. Um, let me go let me not keep you and let me go to this audio recording which for which this young man also have uh, prognosed will take me some time uh, to learn who he is and this and that before I'm gonna even post up but let's go ahead and let's post this right now no I am not supporter of Milan Kuchan not of the Zoran Jankovic that's a Chetnik who used to deliver me to Belgrade city and personally even engage in torture. Not only he had Belgrade in Chetniks in Belgrade that would do the job for him, but he personally got hands on me. Uh, his Slovenian wife, what can I tell you about that? There is nothing much to say. I already have explained everything else. I wanted to say about this issue a little bit earlier. And so the audio recording, you see, it's right here. This one is for really, oh, how long is this here? Just look at that. Five hours and seven minutes is long. Later. Uh, I will repeat this. The grandfather used to bring me uh, in his home since 1995 uh, but the thing about it is he did not come down once he retired or something like this he just kept going uh, with his torture techniques with his stuff if it was not for Milan Kuchan uh, which absolutely it was. The guy also, I deem, is a little bit sick in his head. I think that he is actually really enjoying doing bad stuff to the people. And yesterday, uh, this was more about just 
causing me uh, you know unpleasanty uh, trying to punch the phone out of my hands uh, create a physical altercation and then uh, attempt to uh, provoke with maybe even what he thought that I would I don't know maybe run or something like this from there it was about causing me uh, basically depriving me of sleep interrogating me uh, harassing me with the issues as per uh, indirectly he insisted that he doesn't sleep in this and wanted to know why I don't sleep and stuff just really none of your fucking business just hold on just wait for me to come to pick you up just wait for me to come to pick you up and i promise you the police officers the prosecutors are going to answer you all your questions don't worry about don't worry about To be completely specific, uh, I think the son-in-law of this police director moved right past Sava River uh, into what I think actually was a Brezhica area, okay? To be completely, completely uh, specific. Maybe, who knows, Sela uh, Pridobovi, maybe something like this, I don't know, okay? to be completely, completely specific. Yes, this stuff happened today in early hours of July of 2018, 2022. And right here, right now, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm changing the clothing. I'm just changing myself, I'm changing the clothing. And so this guy comes uh, familiarized Facially very, uh, it appears to me very, um, very familiar, okay, so, I'm taking the shirt off. Now actually, Yeah, this is this is important because just as I come up, it went three times I went up and down. Just as I come up and I'm done with doing my stuff, um, he really, really interrupted. He really, really violated. This is really violent, actually. It's really, really not okay. Uh, I'm going to take this excerpt here. Yeah, I'm going to take this stuff here. And what I'm going to do is copy this stuff I'm gonna paste this in this window here just as I came up just as I reached the top of this uh, Church of Married Saints Nativity uh, the guy appeared out of nowhere with a car he speed it up there to me and uh, basically parked the car and uh, he was very nervous he started to walk around This is elevated about 450 meters. Cerkev uh, Marije Negarojstva na Trški Gori. Church of St. Mary's Nativity. This, right here, right in front of it. Uh, sure, uh, that people, the neighbors, as he told me, they're going to even video record this stuff. Sure, this did end it inside of the London. This absolutely 
ended inside in there and it was just used to cause more harm it was used to cause more damage and that that's that's a pity that's a shame isn't it right here right in front of the church i'm on the side uh there is a bench there and so yeah and people meet me everywhere it's all kinds of people that meet me i told you about the people some of the people were involved in violent scenarios as soon as the police as soon as slovenian borot pahor tanya fayon uh, basically these people here this this these people were all slovenian government present slovenian government golop uh, all these people all of them absolutely every one of them absolutely all of them as soon as they realize things are not going according to their plans they bring on the picture people that were like really really violent and are trying to bring the memories so it's all the time about the tension about the stress and about the memories this guy by the way was my case manager here he was involved in this since 95 And so it was not that Milan Kocham wouldn't use the opportunity to bring one on a picture as a city mayor. He appears was very promising for these people. And as such, who acted also as a police officer under MK Ultra, this guy was armed. He acted like a police officer. This is uninformed individual uh, without any police uh, credentials or any police, anything like this. This guy also act uh, similarly to the police investigators. He was running his own show on the side let me explain not on this opportunity this is already weird enough on another opportunity i'm going to give you some examples of how far this guy went uh to make me believe that it's just in my best interest to be silent about it all compliant he is a mayor of the novomesta city municipality of novomesta in the same fashion, the people that were involved, uh, this is what I was told, this is how the crime is hushed. Because the people that were involved in this case, because this is going to become the biggest affair, are going to be the people who's going to top the presidential seat uh, and all the seats below, including the parliament. I wouldn't go into any uh, ministers of defense or anything like this because it's indifferent. All the people that were involved over the course of the years, and this shit goes on for 28 years, are the people they have used for the purposes of saw nothing, heard nothing, know nothing. Crime goes on get him whichever way we agreed with the london with americans that's all there is this is not about the unknown soldier this soldier is not a stupid this soldier went in because he had no choice because he was repeatedly betrayed stabbed in the back by united states of america that's basically a new homeland he's sick in 1995. i'm gonna repeat to you I am not supposed to be anywhere in Europe between 95 and August of 2006. As a matter of fact, 11 and a half consecutive years, I have not exited the United States of America, in which most of the time, for no less than 10 years, I have spent in Miami alone, in Miami Beach, to be precise about it. It's very, very specific. With exception on three occasions, 
when I went for a visit to the relatives of my ex-wife who just happened so to be a native Ecuadorian to Quito, Ecuador. That's all there is. South America on three occasions. That's all there is. It's almost all over the not only Europe but world. So this is this is very very important for me to declare basically on how they have done this stuff here. Now this is a very very long uh, audio recording. You can see that he managed to cause a harm also in respect to. I see he did not choose this to be a normal hour for this altercation but it was deliberately done like this to deprive of the sleep to cause as much as possible cardiovascular health problems you see they know what they target they know exactly what they're doing they're doing this with a precision with a surgical precision they are doing their systematic kill Because this audio recording is a bit long, uh, and because I don't have that much time to waste, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to transmit you probably first half an hour, get translated that for you, and that, that's going to be it for me. Uh, I'm going to post entire audio recording, entire blah, blah, uh, underneath so that if you like to get that translated, uh, you're welcome to do so. But I got other much more important stuff to do. Uh, as you see, police director Yanis Ogulin, police director Novo Mesto and Mayor Macedoni are again writing the news in respect to my father on my blog. So they started with a second edition of bullshit. You see, when I told you about the uh, stress and tension and all that kind of stuff, Prince Charles knows very good how that stuff can be used to the best. Yeah, disgusting, disgusting. I told you on my news site, I'm asking for a capital punishment when it comes to Prince Charles, Prince Andrew. Prince Harry and Prince William. These people are not related to me in absolutely any, any way. I will insist on a capital punishment to the best result. I don't know whether I'm going to accomplish any of it, but I want you British to know that I'm not so unknown soldier that I'm not so unknown soldier. I'm not a dummy as you think. I was dummy all along. You accomplish this kind of stuff with the use of force, brute force, violence, unprecedented violence. You yourself supported this stuff and support, continue to tolerate this stuff. So I'm changing my clothes and you can see the vehicle speeds up up there uh, straight to me. I had no idea who this guy is but it's a young kid and he looks nervous to me and so I decided it appears to me as he has something important to tell me about and so I decided I'm gonna learn a little bit about this stuff. Parks right next to me. Um, Cheer. Oh. 
uh, I assume the time right at this point in time it's probably I would say 2.15 in the morning I would say because of what you have heard right there I am going to try to translate to you this as much as possible underneath I'm going to post however the whole recording that's going to be in Slovenian language so I'm going to try to do my best I'm going to just adjust this to myself and then what I'm going to do is I'm changing my clothing, you know, I'm all wet. I exercise and now. Oh, he's walking around. And he's still hanging around. He's he's there. And I I see the guys really like he wants to tell me something. Machine auto check. So I tell him you got a nice car. Guy to golf. Lepe. Hey, it's a nice car you have. I tell him. He says you got a nice car, Volkswagen Golf. A really nice car, yeah.
I told him these are cars forever, they go up to one million kilometers if you take care of them. His car is not a diesel, this is a, uh, yeah, but this is a two liter uh, Volkswagen with a hundred horsepower. So these cars were really, really incredibly, incredibly good cars. Very reliable. He tells me he made a lot of kilometers, I don't know how many kilometers, uh, and no problem whatsoever. Hundred and ninety thousand kilometers. Uh, bought this from an old man, first owner. Uh, there is a car parked right there next to the car where he parked. Uh, that's a car that belongs up there to a resident neighbor. Uh, not my car, I tell him. I was just doing my exercise. Well, the truth is that a cars like this, a Volkswagen Golf car like this, the quality of the car like this, let me tell you, in Yugoslavia, the Yugo Zastava, the Serbian Yugo Zastava cars, they were falling apart at 40,000 and 50,000 kilometers, 60,000 kilometers, uh, they were falling apart. And this kind of cars, uh, well, this car is year 97, you know, this is this was just for us in Yugoslavia, this the Volkswagen Golf, which they also built in Sarajevo in Bosnia. Uh, this was just a um, poem za kvaliteto. Okay, uh, how I would translate this would be just a standard for a high quality car. And those always were really reliable, high quality cars, not comparable in any way with junk uh, that, was, that was produced at the time in Yugoslavia. So I tell them this car, uh, even today, you know, this car even today is as old as it is, you know, 25 years, but I'm telling you, the car like this, even today, can outlive probably three, if you would get three new Yugo Zastava cars. That's the quality, and it's and it's 25 years old. That's how high quality these cars are. This car was supposed to be purchased from one of the relatives, if not even from his own grandfather. I know so because he told me about it during MK Ultra. It's a uh, Wine, red color, Volkswagen Golf.
uh, the Clio, the Clio cars are from Renault. I tell them they're really, really far more economic than a Volkswagen Golf. Uh, diesels were designed this age uh, to spend very little fuel, very, very efficient cars. That is true. Uh, this Volkswagen two liter engine 97 did burn fuel well, I can tell you this car on average probably burns about between somewhere 8 and 10 liters of fuel uh, versus Clio I was told even like four and a half liters of diesel on a hundred kilometers but when it comes to I maybe probably improperly explained this diesel Volkswagen Golf just as good as Clio but the thing about it is the gasoline based Clios at that age were just as wasting as this Volkswagen Golf but Clio is already a good car this is not bad car this is a high quality car anyways however much smaller you know French engines are really good engines, high quality engines, I would say. Uh, I am not going to be translating this to you right now. Uh, the Renault Clio, first Clio's they made were still the engines from Renault 5 uh, they consumed tremendously a lot of fuel uh, nice cars very comfortable Renault cars always uh, but you know smaller and you know this is a great car this Volkswagen Golf 97 I told him uh, in my opinion better even the new cars uh, I am not enthusiast of the new models because they all look the same they don't have any personality but these older cars they really had their soul they have their personality any old car whatever old car would be was to me uh, more significant than these newer cars uh, i'm not going to translate this stuff about the cars about that kind of talk i'm just going to let roll and we'll continue when uh trouble started to develop we have a very friendly conversation He says that he's got Mazda, uh, but that he likes this better, uh, that, that the Mazda is not as good, that that uh, takes more gas or something, I don't know. But I tell him, no, no, I, I tell him Mazdas are really good cars too, the Mazda uh, 5, basically. that he issued uh, more like problems technical stuff uh, which is kind of a strange to me because the Japanese when you know their products are just how can I say immaculate they don't go and do something uh, that will not bring the buyer back uh, buying a Japanese cars is economic way and basically ensuring yourself that you get your quality for the buck. He says the car also has got 200,000 kilometers, uh, a little bit more. Uh, but I asked him about how many owners did the car have and he tells me Oh, that one had more. That one had three, four more owners. So I tell him, you know what? Those miles, the kilometers, 
the odometer is reading are not real. Those miles, the kilometers that your odometer is reading probably were false. And I example him that about 50% of the car sellers in Slovenia uh, who claim are the first owners uh, change the mileage. About 50% of the car owners, first car owners in Slovenia, I estimate, do change mileage prior to sale. Four, four owners before this car. Now, this is a young kid. This is 21 year old kid that I meet. So I want to give him some advice. But this guy could give me advice. Uh, actually, he tried to give me advice. I have no idea who this guy is. I tell them if you buy the best is to buy from somebody you know never buy in some kind of apartment complex the car never buy car from apartment complex because there is thousand neighbors there's thousands of people that circle in there and whoever is gonna sell the car is gonna get young kids I tell him like yourself your age they're gonna come to him and they're gonna tell him sir please when you sell the car think of me I've seen this stuff million and one time and so in apartment complex my person I personally don't go into that kind of stuff I don't buy car from apartment complex because uh, simply I know that with an audience as large as in this apartment buildings where people live the car more likely than not will be taken first before I'm gonna even know about one before the news comes out in a uh, on an internet whatever unless the car is in a really poor shape or is overly priced the car will sell to the neighbors over there all those moms fathers they have kids every one of them needs cars there is no there is no such thing Yeah. 
He he did he did go uh, on Adriatic coast, but I insisted on a Croatian Adriatic coast. He never did. That is true. I told him and you have a house but I really don't know where to picture him I I had a problem with picturing the location I point out the right direction at this point in time I point out at uh, yeah the area of Schumpeter or Torchets but I'm thinking where where could this kind of a house be and I, I somehow it doesn't come to me so I kind of figure out that it's got to be yeah I didn't properly picture because of what I earlier stated uh, when I earlier I described all flat and the house has this drain drainage channels uh, that's not in this area that is past Shantiane and so on, Shantiane area. Uh, I pointed at Shantiane area, but no. And I don't take any kind of credits for anything that uh, that I did not, you know, that properly pictured in my mind. I tell him he, I, I point the direction and he says uh, I'm close to Shantirne I say you're not from far no he actually is from far He says, but I don't know you, I don't know you. And I ask him about the school, he is a uh, mechanical engineering technician by profession. Yeah, this is a young kid, and I saw that he want to interact, that, that he want to tell me, but, you know, I, I don't know, I'm just... I, I am asking him for to give me some clues so that I can identify. Basically, basically when it comes to young kids, uh, for me to properly express myself <sighs> under MK Ultra I somehow learned to uh, to take it easy not to take them even seriously okay uh, it was like more like a nuisance that I coped with you know that's all under MK Ultra uh, Prince Harry told me he had seen the pictures of me and my cousin and William, they were really, really comfortable to see how I got along with my cousin from Austria. Uh, that I was extremely playful with him and uh, he did call me a brother, this cousin. Uh, but once the MK Ultra started, uh, things very, very, very much changed between the two of us. It was a completely different world that opened in front of me uh, with my aunt from Austria actually taking initiative uh, to mentally abuse me by siding with my knees against me who at the time really I'm gonna even demonstrate your photos 
On those photos, even she looked mentally ill. Hatred. And so, as much as I didn't want to have nothing to do with my knees, I wanted to mind my own life. I found myself in Slovenia, drugged up in front of her. Uh, and with her having the ability to take advantage of me. And it just happened so that this aunt from Austria sided with her, started to harass, bully with her. Uh, contrary to my experience in, in life, my aunt from Austria didn't really want to have anything to do with my knees. But once the MK Ultra started, I was her preferred. She wanted, she was happy to be with me. She didn't want my knees. She didn't like it. Period. Uh, but once MK Ultra started, she turned against me and started to side with my knees. Well, okay. I'm going to show you some photos of that stuff. So then you can make up your own clue about what exactly went on. And this goes actually into 95 and 96. With my aunt being repeatedly uh, more and more abusive about it. Till I actually told her to fuck off. Because of the stuff she was doing. Finally I did. I was nice. I was pleasant. Tolerant. As much as I could take abuse. But the time eventually came when I was like, fuck off. You know, you made up your mind. So what do you want? Oh, she wanted better. She wanted more, and she caused more troubles. Once MK Ultra started, I don't think I could possibly relate to my family as my family anymore. Uh, things changed so rapidly, and I entered into the world where you see on a horror movies, basically. Uh, you don't even know that kind of reality actually exists. It was like a preparation basically to put me uh, in a home for retarded people. And that's exactly how I felt. Or uh, let's say in uh, a home for elderly people where they also put place uh, people, you know, to, to rid them. Basically, that's exactly the kind of feeling I got when it all started. Uh, he asked me if I'm actually camping uh, because I had a backpacks with me. Um, I told him, no, I do my exercise at evening time, at night time. Yeah, he told me it feels good at night, right? Um, well, yeah, I tell him in the daytime, the temperature are very high. Uh, if you would do something like this in daytime, uh, you would actually take a risk of getting a stroke or something like this. Uh, not that this will pertain to me, but to a lot of people would. Uh, and so, I don't know how much it feels good to do this stuff at night or whatever. This is just my lifestyle, basically. He asked me, where do I work? Uh, I tell him I'm a journalist. Uh, he says, where? Uh, in Novo Mesto. That's probably ringing me two thirty zero two thirty. Yeah. 
I asked him if he didn't work also in the boss. Uh, that he he worked night shifts or something like this. There was just so many people involved. No, he did not. He said that he he not employed yet. He's just a student. Um, this is a little bit more in respect to the stuff that I stated earlier about assault that I'm charging one with. Yes, um, he is pausing. Uh, and under MK Ultra told me that he will not be pausing because you see. He was trying to make an impression under MK Ultra as somebody who would have a difficulty uh, dealing with uh, with grandfather, somebody who would have a difficulty to satisfy grandfather's appetites in respect to this stuff. But this is not true. Because he told me, he alone told me under MK Ultra that he will be pausing because of me that year. Literally because of me. And came up with some bad scenarios on how he would get me hurt if he wouldn't manage that he would get other people and so on. So definitely that this guy is on my menu list now. Uh, not stressed not because he would have a stress at home or anything like this a bad circumstances but because of my return from Poland uh, basically the year when this is gonna come out so he's got a problem with me a little bit bigger than what I possibly could even imagine this morning when I wrote this once I reached home this man does not have any good character he's up to something else I tell him, well, thank you very much for stopping by. You have a great night. Have a good evening. And later on, you're going to hear that he's actually pausing. So we go friendly apart. Uh, he sits in the car. Now, that's a really important for me to explain visually so that you can see me. Uh, he sits in the car. You're going to hear this. Yeah, what can I say? Uh, this is an Android at night it's bright and this here this is a light basically when you go up and down you have this thing constantly on this thing was constantly on during our conversation because I changed my clothing uh, I something have even fallen me on the floor in front of him he saw this I pick up the clothing he saw the telephone flushing he saw my face when he came because I did like this so that he could see me who I was. So he knew about the phone. Now he sits in the car. Uh, he pulls, he turns around the car. Yeah, he, he makes a turn. He goes backwards. He turns around the car and already drives away. And what's interesting is he possibly could not see me even picking up the phone. But I did pick up the phone, and once he has already passed, possibly could see me, past three, past uh, close to the tree. No, he couldn't. He already entered the area where, where I was. Uh, he already somewhat passed the tree. He couldn't see me. I pick up the phone, he stops the car all of a sudden and goes into reverse 
and steps out of the car. This is what you are about to hear next. That's a visit, uh, 2.50 in Church of Me uh, Right now, I take the time. It's 0 0.2.15 in the morning. And you can see there is already close to, well, no less than 18 minutes that's gone. Mary Saint Nativity. Uh, um... As he goes downhill, it appears I was wrong because it appears that he did not go into. Well, let me hear this again. Let's hear this again. I'm making sure whether he did go into reverse or not. That's a visit, uh, 2.50 in Church of Mary Saint Nativity. Uh, um, the possibility actually is that he did. Um, not sure about it. Stops the car, steps out. Uh, time, 0-2. 1 5 a.m. Uh, he asked me if I'm recording. Uh, did you record this? Uh, are you recording this? I told him no. Why? Uh, because it, 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 it makes me feel strange, he says. And I say, why? I'm asking. Uh, he did not approach really uh, in a very friendly way. I'm going to put it this way. I asked him, are you afraid that I recorded? He says, yeah. He says, why do you have the light on uh, on your phone? I said, the light is on, yeah, the light on the phone. Well, it's nighttime, it's pitch dark. He is asking me if I can show him a phone if I record it. And he does mention gallery. Uh, and I feel that this is just intrusion into my space. Uh, I answered him earlier that I did not record. That is just a light on the phone and is asking now about my demonstrating him uh, a gallery whether i did record it or not now a gallery that could be related to the video well, the gallery could also be related to audio whatever the case might be i say i really wouldn't do this you know and he said what not why not so you can show me if you record it or not, or whatever you did. Because I am suspicious about it. What you're doing here at this time of the hour. Uh, 
Can you show, please? That's where I basically stop him and I tell him, yeah, that is exactly the truth. And I advise him, you know, it's my right to record. I have the right to record. Uh, this, I have to advise you, is a public area. This is a public area. And he says, why? And so I wanted to know, I wanted to see this stuff and say, why? Uh, he goes, why? Why? I tell him, why Why wouldn't I have the right to record? Uh, I'm going to call the police, he says. I tell him, yeah, yeah, please be my guest. Call the police. He says, why did you record? And I ask him, how do you know that I recorded? I ask him, how do you know that I recorded? Uh, he says, you stated you have the right to record. I said, and why wouldn't I have the right to record? Why do you record? He says to me. I ask him again, how do you know that I record? He says, you told me. Uh, I don't recall, I don't remember that I ever stated to him that I recorded. I said, I said to him, who are you? What are you? I asked him, where are we now? He said, in Tershkagora. I asked him, what is this here where we are at? Where are we at right now? He says, at Tershkagora. No, I said, what is this? Where are we right now at? I, I, I asked him, uh, this is the Church of St. Mary parking. And I asked him, are you aware that this is a public area? He says, yes, I understand. And so I asked him, what is the problem? Now, you, uh, I, I say to him, you told me I'm recording, right? I tell him, uh, listen, I tell him, boy, go. Go, I tell him, just go, go. I tell him, just go, go your way, I tell him, just go. Uh, I don't know, he's saying that he's going to call police or whatever. I'm just minding my own business. I go to my backpack, I pick up my stuff. As I'm about to depart. Oh, he does not leave. He doesn't go. He doesn't go anywhere. He comes to me now. I am at the bench. And just as approached earlier, but did not approach to the bench, he stopped at like a little fence right there, which was a very unfriendly way, the way, the, the way he approached. Now he passes that, he comes to me toward the bench, and I tell him, listen, go away. And continue to ask me why did I record it, him. I tell him, just go your way, I tell him. And continues to insist to tell him why I recorded him. I tell him, just go your way.
Uh, he gets on the phone, but it appears that he did not call police. He called his mother. I told you, the daughter of the police director, of uh, police director, uh, actually, <coughs> the lady, I was all crazy about it uh, during MK Ultra, which was strange. She alone, uh, I, I always keep asking her in MK Ultra, how come this, that you are not married? How come she's not married? Is she so beautiful, this and that? And she told me because I am a daughter of the police director. <laughs> she said, don't you understand? That's what she told me under MK Ultra. She told me, don't you see? I am at the Tershkagara, uh, mommy, uh, there is a man, I don't know, probably that, that recorded him or whatever. And he talks, and he started to talk about his granddaddy, about his grandfather. Uh, he's saying now he is video recording my uh, registration tag. Well, you know. On a public area, I have the right to take the registration tag number, uh, license, although I did not manage to. I really wanted to take a photo of it because now I became interested in who the hell this guy is, what is going on here. Uh, this obviously is an altercation. Uh, he threatened with a, uh, calling police. Uh, he's calling his mother. He's making a biz big news out of no news whatsoever so i too wanted to have information about him just in case it talks about his grandfather uh if he can call the police and this and that so that they could probably arrange or something like this Uh, interesting enough, I got my shit together and I'm about to go and he blocks me the way to go. That's an interesting one. He tells uh, his mother on the phone to call the grandfather. Uh, no, please, he tells his mother, call the grandfather, I'm calling the police now. But this stuff was video recorded, the neighbors video recorded for the police, this altercation. The police itself video recorded this stuff, let me be clear about it. The police director, Janus Ogulin, would directly interact with the people at the top of this uh, Church of Maria Saints in Nativity and would have them by the throat, condition them, the cooperation uh, on absolutely everything. Have had uh, police uh, interact uh, on the top of this hill with the people, uh, also with the city mayor claiming that they are ensuring the safety for uh, a man, uh, a young man, well, now not so young anymore, but a young man uh, who's whose lungs collapsed and he's got a difficult breathing, uh, difficulty, there wouldn't be no difficulty, the only difficulty is police itself. They are pushing their nose where there is no business for them to be in the first place. They're causing tensions. They're sw they're spinning crime in area. They are up to no good. They are up to no good.
and I'm pretty damn certain have also contributed to his lungs collapse. The guy was a sportsman. Too many people suffered. Somebody was doing some dirty work on behalf of someone. I told her, don't worry about the police. I'm calling the police myself. He says, yeah, do, uh, yeah, go ahead, call. Uh, okay. He tells his mother on the phone, I'm calling the police, mama. Uh. Uh, he gestures that I record and that he's calling police. I figure out it's not going to be much out of his uh, police calls. Nothing happened so far. So what I did is I dialed the police number. Let me... Uh, um He tells me, tell me why do you record me? I tell him, hey boy, you're not normal. You record me. And he started to record me. Yeah, he started to video record me. I told him, I don't record you. Do you have the proof that I recorded you? He says, yeah, you stated that you recorded me. Uh, no, I actually, I never stated this. I know exactly what I stated and what I did not state. Uh, at this point in time, he is recording me. I tell him, you drove away and you stopped. And you realize that all of a sudden that I am recording you. Uh, he's got his beautiful fancy phone holding in me, pointing at me, his video recording me, interacting with his mama. And I ask him, did I ever allow you? To video record me. Uh, I told him, listen, you also video record me right now, and at the same time, you did not allow me to take photo of your license registration number uh, plate of your car. He is very aggressive at this point. He says, he says, I have no right to take a photo of his registration tag license uh, tag. 194 are the last two number and the car license plate is on Kershko. You're on a public place, boy, I tell him. Uh, the cars are parked here. People park their cars here. It's public. Uh, uh, what what kind of connection this got? What this kind of connection this got? I told him, listen, police is going to be explaining you that issue. I asked him, who are you? What do you think you are? Who are you? He says, he says, why he keep repeating? Why the police? Why the police would explain me? Why the police? I said, who are you? Are you something special? No, I'm not. Why the police would? Uh, 
He keeps asking very aggressively, why, why? I asked him, did you drink something by any chance? And I want to know what's going on with this guy, because the way he acts, this almost acts like he is on a drugs or alcohol or something, and if he drunk something, if he took pills or something, some stuff like this, I don't want to cause the guy trouble. I still don't want to cause the guy trouble. I want to know before I get the police, a hold of police, uh, you know, because they see this stuff a little bit different. They can see this stuff very, very different. At this point in time, I still have no idea who the hell this guy is. So what I do is I go right in front of the church of uh, St. Mary's Nativity at Tershkagara. I go away from him. I go several meters away from him. Uh, I don't want to be... Uh, I don't want to be uh, on his way. As a matter of fact, the first thing I do is I go around the car and I'm trying to take a photo from the other side of the from the front car from the front side of the car uh he literally reaches out and hits me in the hand with hope to break me phone uh to kick the phone out of my hands uh that was a punch actually I <laughs> Uh, actually, I'm, I'm quite right. I was about to leave, and, and he insists, uh, don't go anywhere, I'm calling the police, and this and that. He nervously go and uh, closes the door from his car, telephone rings. He is asking mother, tell me what to do. Advise me what to do. He says, I don't allow you to video record my car. Uh, to record my car, to take a pictures of my car. I tell him, uh, listen, boy, I tell him, uh, I don't say boy, but I tell him, listen, I'm going to take a single photo of your license tag license plate uh please move yourself away now i advise him now you attack me physically i tell him now you punched me now that was physical i tell him Listen, my friend, you went too far, far too far. And he says, but so why do you record without my permission? Okay. 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 I tell him, listen, you hit me. He says, when did I hit you? Uh, I tell him, you hit me right now. And he says, what? Uh, a gentleman is running. He is running. I don't recall anything running. I didn't run anywhere. <laughs> the, the gentleman is running. 
nobody is running anywhere i tell him i ca i come in down nobody is running anywhere my friend i tell him uh move out of my way as i'm heading toward church of saint mary to call the police myself i tell him why do you close me the road why are you closing me why are you blocking me the road yeah. I tell him who are you that you're gonna restrain my movement here on this public area who are you I tell him I tell him who are you what do you want who are you who came here to attack me at night time who are you I tell him and I'm just just a moment they, just a uh, moment uh, he mentioned important uh, I don't know who are you you are asking me questions uh, not okay because he comes now I move away from him and he keeps coming to me now I told him step back step back he came too close I tell him step back I tell him go back to your car I am several meters away from him uh, I don't know maybe 10 meters or something like this I tell him go back to your car he says can I please ask you why did you record he says we can talk normal way we can talk normally I just want to know why did you record me can I please ask you he changes the tone uh, uh, you can hear me on the speakerphone I'm already talking to uh, emergency number dispatcher uh, I am at the Tarska Gora uh, where Saint Maria is uh, I, I tell the lady listen I was doing the exercise at night uh, I have a young man here 21 year old with uh, registration tag number Kershko uh, he is placing himself in front of the car so that I could not get his number uh, I tell her he came at two o'clock in the morning he says do you need the police and she gives me the number the police number Uh, now he comes to me and basically orders me not to call the police I tell him listen you're aggressive just step back you attacked me you're aggressive relax I tell him please step away go go back to your car step away from me he says, I respect you, please, please, can you hear me? I tell him, listen, I'm going to ask you one more time, because he keeps asking stupid questions, why I recorded. I ask him, listen, I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you gonna go home right now or you're not gonna go home right now that's what I want to know I don't want to cause him a trouble I rather have him go home basically without causing him a trouble Take them off. Hello. I Take tell them him off. go home
Ще на следник ли ще умерят? Ще пак ще снема, защото ще има по-добри и тъй аз. Ще и пак ще не снема, ама. Айнка ще му шут, айнка ще му шут права се. Доши да му жаля. Тъй да мога. Тъй да мога. Не иш проблема. Тай? I tell him, I'm gonna ask you one more time, would you go home? I tell him, go home, there is no problems, everything is okay. The next phone call, if I'm gonna have to make one, is gonna be straight in the police station. I told him, uh, but sir, he, th he says, I don't know why the jury re uh, recorded me. I tell him, go, I will let you go home, okay? Go. I tell him, sit in the car and go, that's all. Go fast. He says, no. Um, okay. Oh, he says, he figured out he's not attacking me. This is a very important uh, for me to stress that I wanted him, I wanted to let him go. I didn't want any, absolutely any problems for him. Uh, it happens. And I really had no clue who this guy was. What the hell went on? Uh, I was young. Although I never ever would figure out to do anything like this, not even in my dreams. Uh, but uh, I've seen my schoolmates getting in a very strange situation sometimes, even with the friends, you know. We would go out together and they would have extra uh, something extra and then they would start uh, shit that didn't make any sense at that age. Uh, with uh, with one of us okay not really not even with me but just speaking on somebody with some stupid shit that didn't make any sense so he's at age 21 still uh, I figure out just go home get some sleep and uh, you know everything all right this is a very important issue too I have to accent because it was his grandfather with police who evaluated me preliminary on how I would psychologically react to his uh, bullying, to his approach. Just as I'm about to release here on the new side. Contrary to his pressure from grandfather, for whom he claimed break his balls. Psychological pressure from his grandfather, for whom he claimed break him balls, just as he did to me, that he related to me in this way. Yeah, he psychologically connected himself to me in, in a certain sense. Uh, contrary to this, 21 year old also told me under MK Ultra and his grandson, uh, I should say grandfather. That his grandfather demanded during MK Ultra uh, he, he stated, both stated to me this stuff, that he is going to do this stuff to prove himself and to his grandfather that this is his real grandson, basically. So that's contrary to claim. And, you know, you're going to hear him talking about the pausing uh, a university year. Don't worry about that stuff. From what I can recall, he assured me that his grades were at the top of the class, the best of the best grades. So that doesn't sound exactly what I tried to console him even at the end of this. Uh, once we get there, you're going to see 
very, very man uh, manipulative uh, personality. Which this stuff was used, yeah, to downplay me, to just bit my expectations and probably end somewhere uh, on a news where I posted that it's his grandfather who did everything, that it's his grandfather that's basically also break his balls and stuff like this. It is true, it, when he was 14 years old, when I was brought to their home, he didn't even know what to do when grandfather told him uh, to go about and do some stupid shit to me. He didn't know anything about what to do. So he started to yell at him, scream at him even, and send him to the neighbor. So that neighbors then they came 18 i don't know 18 something like this i don't know how much something like this the age and they started to do this stuff to me and teach him how to do it so hmm let's continue so yes i'm eager to let him go home just go home kid it's all right uh this however i did as somebody who have a complete control over the situation i was very clear to him go just go i let you go sit in the car and go contrary to what he and his grandfather expected it's gonna be completely completely contrary i'm the one handling this whole situation it must have been embarrassing for Chris, his grandfather and also for him. You're going to hear now he's going to say, no. Peter said, nah. Yeah, you heard this? Nah. He says, no. Look, I'm not the one attacking you. He says, C can we please talk like a, like a people, like in a nice way, without the telephone, please, without the telephone? I tell him go just go and he keeps repeating to me can we talk please without the telephone I said listen I said what what happened to you I said what grabbed you I, I asked him what happened to you I tell him this is very very unusual what just happened he says, I apologize. Yeah. I tell him, I tell him, please go home. It's all good. It's all all right. Everything is going to be okay. Don't worry about it. Just go home. I try to calm him down you know, in a nice way as possible. I asked him, but what, what happened to you? Do you have some kind of psychological trouble or something? Are you? He says, no, no. Uh, he asked me, can you, can you show me a gallery? Uh, I said, look, I said, it's weird to me because you came, we had a nice talk, we, we, we went apart friendly and then all of a sudden you stopped. 
I took the phone in my hands. You all of a sudden stopped, you jumped out, and you started to ask. I said, what happened to you? What, what grabbed you? He says, I observed you a recording on the phone. I asked him back, I said, how did you manage to observe this from the car? Because when he was next to me, I just had the telephone right on the side, sitting right there. I did not even touch the phone. The light, however, was all the time on, but the telephone obviously was not pointed at him, not it was pointed at me, it was pointed in a completely other direction from him and me. He said, so I asked him, how did you manage to observe me from the car? How did you manage to do that? And this already when you drove away. He says, I don't know. He is again on the phone asking his mama whether he should call the police. So evidently he had his mama checking with the police something, anything that possibly could be done for, for the grandson. But I can attest, I can assure you, this was video surveillance by the police. It was a police, I am certain of it, not too far from there maybe even inside one of the houses, whatever the case was, because they rehearsed this stuff. Not on one occasion, they evaluated me psychologically on how I'm going to react to this stuff and rehearsed this on several occasions, this thing. It just didn't come to me, this. Actually, I started to think in meanwhile about the words he used, about the grandfather, uh, about his mother, about the police and this and that. And I started to grasp that there might be something actually to do that his grandfather perhaps is director of the police. I started to suspect more and more that it might be the case actually very familiar to me at this point in time. He said, can we, can we, can we please talk normally? My mother is worried. I tell him, yes, of course we can. He is again accusing me of video recording, or actually of recording him. Wow. He continued to repeat the same thing like, and you hear the bell right there ringing, he's buying time, he's buying my sleep away from me. And he's again more and more aggressive, why? Why? We said that's why this is going to go online. That's exactly why. Yeah, I, uh, I told him I didn't want to go and continue the bullshit. Uh, in meanwhile, I just 
dialed the number from the police and asked for the police intervention at St. Mary's uh, Church at Tershkagora. Asked if they can send me an intervention vehicle, please. In Momenga Madga Fanta, Sara Kasi Portalo, in. Je precej agresiven, ker vi pač, da sem ga snemal. A young man is pretty aggressive. This isn't about only that he hit me, but it's about the language he continues to use, accuse. Ne vem, kaj bi želel, lejte. I don't know what exactly he wants. Please send me, send me a patrol here. He's got his phone ringing again. I give the name to the officer. You can also hear the officer I turned the speaker on. I explained that I was doing the exercise and while finishing, changing myself shirts to go home, uh, it's uh, this young man who arrived. Uh, he looked to me very familiarized, familiar, we had a talk, uh, he sat in the car, he drove away, stopped. Jumps out of the car and begins to claim that I recorded him. Demands for me, for me to demonstrate him in my gallery, my telephone. It's aggressive, acted aggressive, uh, tried to punch the telephone out of my hands. I told him, so this is not good. Uh, then the guy start to claim that he's not aggressive, that... Uh, he just wants to get a hold of my telephone. I tell him, if you can have my telephone, I tell him, no, you can't have it. That's my telephone, I told him. You have your own telephone and that's all there is. Now I have a speakerphone turned on and the officer on the other side can clearly hear me talking to him. I transmit him one more time. Boy, I asked you whether you want to leave or not. You didn't, you refused to. I begged you to leave several times. You refused to. I gave you a chance to, to go, right? You, re, you refused. And I said, okay, then. You did some stuff that I don't even understand what you want from me. What, he, what is it you want from me? It's 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 half three o'clock in the morning, I tell him. It's past already. He says, I'm young. And I said, yes, I know you're young. And I asked you if you have some kind of psychological problems, anything, that I can help you out, whatever it is that I can do for you. And you did not explain me anything. He denies, he says, I did not ask him anything about any kind of problems, anything. I asked him, I say, of course I did ask you, with officer listening on the other, uh, on the other side. Of course I asked you if everything is okay.
Ja, tu vari šī to prāt, to prāt un tad tu šī nevienam, tu jūs savu rēdu, tu šī nevienam. Ties, ties, mēs pat tikai nerodu, kā tik jūs jau vīlēt to. Tur mēs esam tik kādi, jūs vāja vienam, vēl kā. Pa nīsam es tā par šo domāju, tu līdzi jāvim trejus. Nē, nē, nē. He says, uh, it's strange to him that uh, I am in the morning at two o'clock in the morning and this and that. Yeah, it is very, very strange to him because it was strange to psychiatrists in 2013 when they hospitalized me. It was strange to them because my father claimed that I talk at nights with the Germans, that I communicate with the Nazis. I never did that this is what psychiatrists have written they institutionalized me and they claimed that I am interacting with Nazis from all over the world at night on the computer and it was a big 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 accent about sleeping at night and working during the day it's basically easy to say but this is how the psychiatrists went after me and his grandfather was part of this psychiatrical deal. He knew exactly what was written word by word and already earlier started to talk about night. Uh, now continues that it's strange to him uh, with knowing that this officer on the other side. So I asked him, what are you talking about? What? Two o'clock in the morning? What? Ah, uh, let me just repeat this to you. It's strange to him that at late at night in the morning that I walk around. Uh, it's it's weird to you what? Did I do the exercise? I tell him, I didn't come to you at your home. This is a public here. This is a public property here. This is a public access here. Where we are at, this is public area. He says, I understand, I understand. And with the officer on the other line, I explain to him, because this is a public place, whether you like it or not, I also have the right to record here, because this is a public place. So basically, I repeat him with officer on the other line. That's my right, actually. It's a public place. So what is the problem then, I ask him? You blocked my access to leave. You blocked me the road. You tried to punch the telephone out of my hands. So what is the problem, I ask him? I have a police officer on the line and I'm going to ask you just one more time, I'm going to ask you, are you going to go home? Okay. Tell me right now. Or you're going to wait so they can bring the vehicle over, so the police can come over. What are you going to do? You're going to go home or what do you prefer? He says he's going to go home, and I tell the officer on the other line he's going to go home. Okay. Hello? Uh, I'll just call the Bushodumo. So the police officer online want to make sure that 
everything is going to be okay, that he agreed he's going to leave home, uh, that the police vehicle, intervention vehicle is not necessary, uh, and advises me that if it's going to be necessary to call back. I thank him and the conversation ends. Yeah. He is apologizing. I, I told him there is no need to apologize. I told him, I, actually, I don't even know whether it's something I can do for you, whether I can actually help you somehow. Because I felt that he was troubled from the moment he came at this late hours over there at this, at this church. I said, because I don't understand what exactly happened here at all. Uh, I said, are, are you taking some kind of medications or something like that? And so, so I said, uh, I asked him, first I asked him, are you, did you drink uh, a glass or something like this? Or do you take some kind of medications or something? And he says, no, no, no. And so, uh, what, what is it? I told him, you know, this is the this is a public area, this is a public place where you too can video record me. When I say you too can video record me, now people video record me all the fucking time. People video record me all the fucking time. The only thing I do is I smile. Uh, and that's all there is to it because there's nothing else I can do. But when I go to public, I see people video recording me all the time. People record. People have either phones like this or like that. There's nothing I can do because I'm in a public areas. I'm on a public. I'm on. A, I'm in a in a public areas. There is nothing I can do. People have the right to record me. Nothing I can do about it. He keeps asking me if I recorded, and I said to him, I didn't say I did, and I have the right to keep it as answer as I answered right now. I told him, even if a police officer, I had a conversation with a police officer, not even a police officer has the right to ask me about questions like this on a public area, on a public place. Even if the police officer, even if the police officer was here, I have the right to record. This is a public area. I told him, and I did not video record you with a camera whatsoever, or was taking picture or anything like this, anything that that I would have your photos or whatever. So that, that you could say, hey, you, you know, this and that. Yeah. He says, I understand, he said. I said, so then what? I, I said I said so 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 what then and he says I he says I don't know so so I said what 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 scared you tell me what is it that you were completely I told, I told him you look you look afraid you look what happened he says, I don't know, because it, it, it felt strange. He's got again phone ringing, that's his mother.
Yeah. He says uh, nothing, all is good. I told him send my best regards to your mother and he says I don't know what to do. I asked if I can maybe talk to mother just for a minute. If he allows me to. Uh, it becomes my main concern. It doesn't really matter who the guy is. It becomes my main concern that when he returns home, he comes home in one piece. That something would not happen by any chances to this young man. He is 21 year old. And he is speeded up there. He came with it quite fast. And according to the engine that you have heard, or I should say exhaust, uh, the car is pretty damn loud. And that kind of a tells you, he also mentioned that the car eats oil. That kind of a tells you that he's got a heavy leg on a gas pedal. Not only that he likes the run, 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 run engine, but this kind of cars won't let oil out just like that. If the old man drove the car, and as I stated, the old man most likely was his grandfather or one of the relatives, in that case, I better make sure that he comes home in one piece, that he comes down as much as possible and comes home in one piece. For that matter, what I'm about to do, I'm about to give him a little bit of advice here and there. I just want him to calm down and go home like completely calm, basically. Get some sleep and then whatever. He says, uh, I give you him you on the phone or what? I turn just 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 turn the speaker on and Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, here. Uh, Mom is uh, worried about, she said, sir, what is wrong with you? Tell, please. I said, everything is okay. I tell him, nothing to worry about. Your, everything is okay. Your son is going to go home. Uh, he says he's going to go home nicely, slowly, carefully, and that's all there is to it. Nothing is to worry about. He, we're going to handshake before he's going to go his way, and that's all there is to it. Uh, I told mother nothing happened and everything is okay. And then mother gives me that he is. He said he just go out a little bit like this. Uh, he never did to anybody anything. I said it's all good. He's 21 years old. It's all good. Don't worry about it. I say uh, he's saying he's gonna go to university and he's gonna find himself a girlfriend, got married, and that's all there is to it. All is good. He said he speeded up here. He came real fast here. But now he, sa he said to me he's going to go really slowly back home. That's all there is to it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not safe. You, can, you can hear him saying yes, and you can hear mother uh, saying, and fine, good night, thank you, the same to you, and that's all there is to it. Yeah. Dave, 
ki se ti razpovedal to tala po času prevedno da se nas slučajno na to kje razvajal to tal I told him you speed it up here I saw it when you go nice carefully slowly back home so that by any circumstances he would not get into some kind of accident or something tonight I told him slowly you go home and there is absolutely nothing to worry about nothing happened all is good and I see him that he's still worried he's still he's completely worried about it and I said you got nothing to worry about what what you worry about unless you want to tell me something and he said what he says I don't know okay. he said it was strange to me that you had uh, the light on the phone well yeah I, I need the light I need the light so I don't feel there is stones over there you're gonna hear once I walk away uh, and it's very steep I told him how can I see over there in the dark where I was without the light I changed my clothing and stuff and and what am I gonna do I was changing my clothing I present myself I, I tell him my name is Bustian we handshake and he says his name is Jega uh, I don't know about that I think that mother afterwards called him a different name nothing to worry about all is good everything is okay I asked him, do you have some uh, girlfriend or something, I asked him. And he, he keeps asking me, he keeps asking me whether I recorded him or not. He says, if you did not record me, you can say no. And I say to choose, I chose, I never said that. Then he says, then you did. And I say, I also never said that. A little earlier, I told him, if you remember, if you can recall, I told him clearly, I did not video record you, right? You heard me saying to him, I did not video record you. So he is looking into something else. He is up to something else. Now, when people meet me and are trying to obtain, uh, give me a proof, MK Ultra proof, so they meet me so that I can identify them. I use audio recorder. I never use a video recorder. He, he keeps digging in the question whether I recorded him or not. And I told him that's something I'm not going to answer. And so, so why not? Because I ask, why would I? Uh, he is interested more than just about video recordings, 
they are interested the police the present director of police station novel Mesto, is interesting in something else they would like to make things hard for me in respect to stuff I do they are bothered with my obtaining audio recordings and more than anything they want to get a hold of my recordings my property and just don't know how eventually with this recording they consented the lawyers attorneys and it was about within that he should obtain himself a proof something that would give him a legitimacy the right to actually even as he stated take me to the court for recording one a very helpful stuff to him would be my saying no i did not record you uh, actually audio record you audio record you would be but i was i was very very clear about it i did not video record you galleries he inquired about asked that's related to the video recordings for me that's how i interpreted this i didn't go home mechanical engineering technician and get some sleep are you gonna go to school tomorrow there is no school yeah you're already in the fox no you're already in the university uh -huh. I am pausing, I'm pausing, he told me. So, not this year. I said, I see, now I understand. Okay, you put school there. Now, I'm just going to stress him my own advices, get yourself a work, do something. Anything you're going to do is good for you, but don't get depressed about life. Life is long. Uh, it's not one day. It's not one year, even if you lose one, even if you lose several years. Uh, life is a long deal. Get yourself a girlfriend. I give him advice about driving too. I tell him I myself with the 50 kilometers an hour I allow myself car in front of me a distance as a, as a distance I let him I let him be 20 meters in front of me actually even 30 meters is completely fine with me so that I is stressing myself because life is long so if you're gonna do this general stuff and avoid yourself stress your life is going to be longer, healthier, and you're going to be more successful. Because I got a feeling that, that he is eating, that, that he is in a, some kind of rhythm of life that is all stressed out. Uh, I already suspected, from what I heard earlier, he talked about the grandfather, about who he is. Uh, but listen, I just want him to come, go home, calm get home safe uh, and basically that's all there is in continuation the only what would be valuable for me to translate to you uh, the only thing that would be is for me to demonstrate him a gallery a video gallery so that I did demonstrate to him with a phone in my hands a video gallery so he was capable to see uh, in fact that I did not video record one and the photo of his car which I even believed I have taken was not taken because he punched me on the phone and the only thing that was uh, taken was actually my shoes and his um, his just the tips of his uh, black shoes that's all there was uh, there was absolutely nothing else i assured him that everything is okay 
no recording whatsoever go home everything is fine and that's all there is the rest of the audio folks is this keeps going this goes all the way to one hour and ten minutes and this is what is this here now this is like uh, 43 minutes I'm not gonna be doing all this this video already long is two hours and 48 minutes and it's got to be uploaded I got stuff to do uh, it's gonna be all available in Slovenian language I give him good advice for life but that's all there is I'm trying to figure out what's going on with him I try I'm try, try, try to encourage him to go about life he reminded me of my schoolmates because he kept repeating the same shit basically the same thing it, it, it was a schoolmate I had uh, that it just it just couldn't move on it was like he had fallen in some kind of uh, like status that just repeated itself with the same question and so I told him I gave him a good advice listen I said you know you're spinning in the same question in the same issue that doesn't have any value you know so I told him uh, what you do is basically you just need to remember you just need to stick to the rule you should never argue with your own logic basically you know there is a logic and you shouldn't follow with your own logic that's all there is to it i basically give him some life uh, <laughs> I told him wherever you're gonna go the people are recording where are you gonna go to the store where are you gonna go to the shopping mall you'll walk on the street wherever you go in a public area people are recording you just gotta know this uh, that's one of the things now I told him I do not video record I don't video record unless I am doing paying visits to my father this stuff was related to this issue here this is exactly what this issue was related to this was exactly exactly related to this very issue here uh it's also the video i'm gonna post right below about my father which video was recorded at exactly the same day uh, and what I also have explained the reason behind the reason behind of one I have also explained on my new site on my blog I have clearly before I had it on a trail I have written down the issue with my father it was marked under july the 17th 2022 father appeared during visit as dehydrated and i gave uh, a thorough background about what goes on what went on that's also the link i'm gonna post below I've also stated that this issue alone of father who appeared during visit as dehydrated is related to the issue I have encountered on uh, I have encountered later on that day uh, however I was clear before I left to have explained about my father yeah that's gonna be a video I'm actually gonna post 
that the situation was identical to two other situations, to three other situations at the hospital of Novo Mesto when, when he appeared to be completely dehydrated. And it was the way to intrude in the stuff I am doing. That's what the police have used my father. And secondary, because of this home for elderly people, I was very, very specific at pointing out that the nurse, this very nurse pointed me out, because it can be also heard on the video, she, she remembered nothing about my stay inside of this room, about my having the same issues done to myself on the very same bed they have my father at right now. Which idea was to actually transfer father to another location because director of the home for elderly people in Novo Mesto is just, he started to shit in his pants during MK Ultra. It's not gonna be possible to for the news to come out and it's gonna be necessary therefore to transfer father again to another facility so it would be like a sheer blame because it was also in another facilities they tortured they tortured me also in another in other home for elderly facilities throughout slovenia this was not the sole incident the home for elderly in novo Mesto. so what they do is they wanted to share the blame for as much as possible something that Janus Ogolin have sold to my father, to my parents, to my mother, also as a top price. Because father gave, gave even the thumbs up and he moved his yes like head to me. He didn't say anything when I inquired about his him being dehydrated. But this would be like a top price that would return the father on the main picture as a martyr, somebody tortured by the system. Because of this video, for which Janusz Ogolin also deemed director of Novo Mesto Police, is a strong proof that something is just not right the way it should be, that I would obtain. However, police invested into another issue and this is the issue that took place the same very same day just as i have projected you to this very audio recording in early morning hours therefore on july the 18th of 2022 still with idea to jump into my personal property intellectual property and so on yeah as far as the cameras I'm gonna tell you all people I used to have a cameras when I used to work as a cashier inside of the boots in the parkings the camera would be just like this like this it would be in my face just as I explained a boy every month you get your pay and nobody really gives a shit. I had a camera when I worked as a surveillance system operator at South Florida Treatment Evaluation Center in Miami. That's a hospital for people convicted or facing a trials uh, like facility used to restore their mental capacity to ability to stand the trial basically with camera like this pointing at my face that my co-workers correctional officers complained about like for all the wrong reasons not because it would bother them but just to make my low-paid job as challenging as possible. 
Don't worry about nobody really worried. Nobody was worried about. It's all good. We know. I had jobs like this. I had many bullshit jobs like this. And the best about MK Ultra was when they told me it's gonna be people at Fujitsu claimed me, it's gonna be cameras positioned like this inside uh, behind the screen. They're gonna be maybe they are who knows who the hell knows what kind of technologies all my laptops that they had that kind of stuff i have no idea and so that i'm going to be when working on a computer all the time observed in the face the way i the way i looked and uh, and so on and so forth i have gone through fair share of bullshit brainwash uh with the cameras they're going to be integrated in a tv at home uh, looking at my father, looking at me, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, that does have impact on a lot of people, uh, but it didn't have shit, no impact on me, even when they claim me they're going to watch uh, if I'm going to be doing the porn, they acknowledge the porn as mentally ill. That's not bad. Um, everything is whatever is accessible to those that acknowledge this is mentally ill was mentally ill and they had money they could do they had choice i didn't have any i was just the only choice i had was mentally ill that's all there was so uh still i wouldn't let that worry bother me in fact i gave him an advice you know whoever is watching on a camera if that's what they are doing to you if you had some bad experience with the cameras he stated that he had a bad experience with the cameras and that's when i demonstrated him also the gallery that i did not video record him uh, i told him he is a mentally ill person i told him just think about the fuck is the one uh watching on a camera what good does it it doesn't do any any good to to an individual that is watching you on a camera this he is clearly mentally ill he clearly is mentally ill unless he's doing something uh i don't know he's doing some kind of prison tactics something like this uh but why would anybody watch anybody on a camera that actually uh to see his facial expression stuff like this that's just uh i don't know more the not is related to mental illness that I would not want to associate myself in absolutely any way with. I don't give a shit, I told him. As long as the pay comes at the end of the month, who cares? Who cares what they do? I don't care if they put 50 cameras in my face. I don't give a fuck who is watching on the other end and uh, what they think about me. Yeah, <laughs> you know. It's just. I assured him that I did not video record him with a camera because he told me he had a bad experience uh, he says uh, he says uh, with their camera uh, or whatever and I ask him what am I gonna do with the telephone uh, I, I asked him what do, you, what do you mean with a phone like what uh, that I audio recorded you he says no not concerned about audio recordings he is not concerned about audio recordings he is concerned about video recordings so I tell him no video recordings I have no video I have absolutely nothing he said but why didn't you tell me this before I told him no I did not video record you I did not do absolutely any of that stuff I absolutely do not do any of that stuff 
Ne, 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 tu ti povem da te nisam posmeo. I did not video record you at all, I guarantee you that. Ja ti zdaj povem. Tu ti lahko zagotovim, da te nisam posmeo. A to si se bol? Ja. Ja, ne, zdaj je vse, da nisem vedel, kaj me, 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 kaj I told him, I have no video, I have no picture of you. I told him, maybe I actually have uh, something about your Golf, Volkswagen Golf. Uh, I did took one picture, uh, and I am browsing, I pulled the telephone out, and in front of him, I am demonstrating him uh a gallery and he see it he saw the picture that there is absolutely nothing on the picture uh except my legs and his feet he smiled okay all we're gonna do is display you again I told him I don't do that kind of stuff. Ne, 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 tu ti povem, da te nisem posmel. Tu ti zdaj povem. Tu ti lahko zagotovim, da te nisem posmel. A to si se bol? Ja. Ja, ne, zdi ga vse, da nisem vedel, kaj me, kaj, kaj me, kaj me skrčuješ. Ja, jaz nisem vedel, kaj, kaj me, kaj me skrčuješ v duhu. Nobenega videa nimam, nobene slike nimam. Nekaj od tvojega golfa morda celo imam. Eno slike sem pri tis nekaj, pa je na oda tam. There you go, you can hear him laughing, I demonstrate him a picture, that's all there is. Ne, 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 nisem tega delal. I did not even took his license tag, registration number or anything like this. Ja ne, jaz nisem vedel, zakaj se dogaja, v bistvu zakaj se dogaja. Ja ne, pa nisem razumel, kako s njemu, mislim, kaj s njemu. Pogovor, kako se pogovarjam. A pogovor? Ja. Nobenega videa nisem posnil. Nobenega videa nisem posnil. Ja ne, mislim, zakaj sem imel pa lučno na telefonu, ne vem. Na lučno? He said that I might have video recorded our conversation this is what i understand uh i told him absolutely i have not i have no video whatsoever uh, i did not video recorded our conversation and he asked me why did you have a light on and i repeat him again yeah, the light is on because i told him if you did not realize that light was turned on all the time on the phone and it was not i didn't say this it was not facing in me or him but yeah it was facing the other way already when you came the light was turned on yeah when he stepped out of the car i actually made sure the phone was up so he could see my face he stepped out of the car and I had a phone right in front of me, laying down, upside down, uh, flashing in my face. Uh, he said it was, it was weird to me. I said, yeah, it, it's... You're right that it was weird. You have your right to feel weird. But at least you could ask me and say, Sir, did you by any chance video recorded me or took some pictures of me or something like this? And that will be it. And I will tell you that I did not. And if you remember, I told him way before I told him I did not. Absolutely. 
Okay. Jesu mi jesno da si god, mam. About the telephone I have mentioned earlier. The telephone, since I returned back from Poland, worked, we're talking about the house telephone. Total, within like two years, maybe total that was connected, 14 days. However, it was exactly in those 14 days that psychiatrists and police, this is another proof, this is another proof about what went on. It was exactly then that it served their purposes for the rest of the time the telephone was not connected. And my mother actually even let me know as she accused me that I disconnected the phone. And I told her, how the hell did I disconnect the phone if the phone, you yourself right now, when you connected one back, you connected with the wrong uh, wires. You did not properly attach the wires. That's just really, really specific about the phone. That's all. I'm not going to stress about the phone anymore. They knew exactly when to pull this with a phone. The victim is there after you. Uh, I encourage him to, if he is pausing, if he's under the pressure, whatever it is, just do something positive and everything is going to add up together. I told him, a life after all is long. And the thing about it is that and the thing about it is that if you're not going to make it through regular and so on and you can take uh, next to employment you can do your uh, education whatever uh, you can however you will complete the school uh, we go apart we we again handshake and i finally go home now let me explain something according to his own words he's a top student with the top grades this probably is already his i estimate maybe even third year in university uh and so it really was just a trick this whole thing that's all i gotta say in respect to this A video um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a date and time it still is July the 18 of 2022 when this was video recorded And I finally finished this in the evening hours. I did a lot of other stuff too. Uh, but I'm pleased to say, all right. And I have also translated you incident which took place 
between me and the uh, grandson of ex Novomesto director police I'm pretty sure that his father moved uh, right behind the Kershko what I demonstrated and got himself a second family uh, that also has that he also has more brothers and stuff uh, it's another family family that popped up on the picture And it really, really became clear to me, very, very clear to me. It very, very clear became to me about who he was once I was going, once I was going down the hill. Because when Ivaltin and Kiotra, he ensured me that I'm going to be actually afraid to reach out for the phone and do the rest of the recording and if they and if he's not gonna make it that he's gonna get some neighbors over there also from Tushkagora they'll finish the rest of the business for him and his grandpa so it became clear to me that more likely than not this was the right person during the course of the day in the morning I wasn't even sure about it I, I was analyzing the whole thing what exactly they they wanted for me uh, and it became to me clear yeah this probably really is the right person that's all there is thanks for watching this video uh, right below this I will also include you as I have stated in Slovenian language entire audio uh, audio tape here is when I'm gonna go ahead and upload uh, this very video so that's all there is to it thanks for watching this video till next time the following tape is also to be used as a proof as I am character proofs uh, it's impossible that I would I would identify so many people including this family if it was not for MK Ultra for people that got involved in this. Uh, this police officer just uh, didn't have any choice other than to just do it this way to get it done with it. This information is going to become available to public broad about exactly who was involved in this MK Ultra case. Everything is going to become quite public. It's all going to be known much more than what it's now. Uh, on a completely different level. The MK Ultra book, to which they refer to as a Harry Potter, that's how they refer to me. <laughs> I'm no Potter. A Potter is a Prince Andrew, a Prince Charles, those are Potters. Those are real Potters. You know, pot in the US, that's like pot, smoking pot. Those are real Potters. Those are real Harry, Harry's Potters. Prince Andrew insisted to me on a multitude of occasions for me to become alcohol reseller and try to couple me with alcohol links from Canada that it would be great for me to become alcohol seller because according to him he misinterpreted this I did not make fun of him to hurt him but I try to instill in his head that alcohol is just not good for him to avoid alcohol at all costs to not drink alcohol what Buckingham Palace Royals Queen Elizabeth saluted was thankful and he's got it all fucking wrong to degree that instead I was awarded with a, with a broken spine and with a cancer issues, with a fatty liver and I don't know what kind of issues.
Now that kind of a sucks when you think about that stuff. Trying to do best for the people and get in return something like that. Thanks for watching this video. As usual, till next time.